The Premier has distanced himself from Michael Caltabiano, the man at the centre of misleading Parliament allegations. As Leone Mello reports, the government has released the top bureaucrat's CV, which makes no mention of a lobbying company at the centre of the storm. The Liberal links go back a long way, but Campbell Newman says he hasn't spoken to Michael Caltabiano over allegations the top bureaucrat misled Parliament. Uh, Mr Caltabiano now needs to explain what he has said and the committee needs to do its work. The Director General wasn't to be seen. Welcome to the Caltabiano household. Sidelined on full pay over statements made to last week's estimates hearing. And did you work with any of them in the past at all? had no previous professional working knowledge or experience of them. He was speaking of Ben Gommers, the son of Arts Minister Ros Bates, who was hired as a liaison officer in his department. But business cards and this lobbyist register show Mr Caltabiano registered with Entrevue in 2009, a company owned by Mr Gommers and his mother. Mr Caltabiano denies any wrongdoing. He was personally picked by the Premier and now this is, a, this is the person who has engulfed the Premier and his government in a scandal. I remind people that we are the ones who only a few months ago made it an offence again to lie to a parliamentary committee. Ms Palaszczuk called on the government to release Mr Caltabiano's CV. It did. There was no reference to Entrevue. Now the Ethics Committee will decide. There's no specific timeline to determine Mr Caltabiano's fate. The Ethics Committee will make recommendations, but Parliament will ultimately decide. In the meantime, Mr Caltabiano will continue to earn about $10,000 a week. Leonie Mellor, 10 News.